it's your boy Cyber Beats man and we're out here doing an interview live with it. Headlines magazine. For establishment purposes, please introduce yourself and yeah. who you are. Uh, it's your boy Cyber Beats and I'm a music producer based in Cape Town. What inspired you to get into music and start music producing instead of rapping? What inspired that choice? Actually, aside of, you know, as a rapper, then back then, like when I used to ask people, like, yo, hook me up with beats and stuff, like, they would take long or like the prices were too high for me, you know. So a couple of friends of mine, they gave me a program called Footloops, then I started messing around with it. And, and from there I started making beats and I just enjoyed, you know, making beats more than I did with the webster. How does the, in the internet influence your, your sound? If internet influence the in sound. Internet influence the sound in a way like everything is, is accessible. You know? Like I can go online right now and, you know, listen to stuff from Japan, listen to stuff from India, so like it just makes life easy. And also like it helps when it comes to producing because now I can ship my beats anywhere I want to like easy. You know. What was the one challenge that you've faced in the music industry to date? Hey man, there's a lot actually. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. One that comes to mind right now is credits. You know, like every day we always, as music producers, because music producers we come in before the law, we come, I mean, before the checks. So, like, it's difficult to get credits and also to get, you know, like, People out there, like artists, they don't really respect us or they don't really want to pay for beats and so forth. So, like, that's one of the challenges we always, we always face as producers. If you're not working with, you know, like your favorite, if you're not working with your own, own artists, like, it's, it's quite difficult, you know, to get accreditation from. It's quite difficult to get accreditation from, um, you know, these okay. established artists. Here's a question that I have for you. Um, most of the work that you have done are cre credited by people like Gemini Major, Youngster CPT. What is, how has that influenced you working with established artists in the game as an up and coming producer? You get to learn, man. Like, you know, as a producer, I believe like, in always collaborating because it helps with your sound and, you know, you get to learn from other people so, like, how they do things, how they hear like, certain things you, you can hear. So, like, Working with other producers really like it helped me, you know, um, <laughs> to get where you are right now. To get where I am right now. Any, the, any future projects that we can expect from you? Any collaboration that are up and coming? I'm working a lot with the Rip Gio called Freshly, you know, so you can expect uh, a project coming, coming, coming from us. And I'm also working a lot with Gemini Major. We just did a couple songs for his album. Um, that's coming out soon as well. Youngster CPT, you know, we're always in studio cooking up, so like, we look out for that. What keeps you going on a daily basis? The motivation of an up and coming artist? Things like funds, not being credited. What keeps you motivated to keep going on every single day? Money, house, and, and family, man. Always out here, like looking out for my family, so like that keeps me motivated to go out on a daily basis. Who inspired you to actually get into the game and drop your first single, your beat? Or um, there's a guy called Kadiek, Kadiek Flatline, and a guy called T Minus. T Minus doesn't produce anymore, but that's like one of my favorite producers out there. Like, he just inspired me to want to do this, you know. Shout out to T Minus, man. Okay. Images like of producers who are established in the States like Metro Boomin who have now formed an image and most producers normally take a, the background of the song looking at DJ Khaled who is now an iconic face over the social media. Where do you want to take this producing thing? Stay behind the scenes or come up and form a brand? An image. Like nowadays, man, with, when it comes to producing, you, you have to form, you have to like be a brand. You know what I mean? Like everything is moving to where you have to be in front of, you know, the TVs, in front of the camera. So I also see myself coming out, you know, not just saying behind the scenes, but coming out as is as, as, as like a DJ Khalid, for example. You know, putting songs together, 
coming in and showing people like you, I can actually produce, you know, I can actually, I'm actually brand you can, you know, believe in and trust. So, um, I'm, sooner or later you find out, man, because I've been working on my own project. The Recycle Beats, and right now you're tuned into Headline Magazine. Peace.